A bill has been sent to President Biden's desk to make Juneteenth a federal holiday. The House approved the legislation today, just one day after it passed the Senate. Juneteenth commemorates the day in 1865 when the last enslaved black people in the U.S. learned from Union soldiers in Texas that they were free, more than two years after the Emancipation Proclamation was signed. And today, Governor J.B. Pritzker announced Juneteenth will become a state holiday starting next year. This weekend, Evanston will mark the new holiday with a parade. With this change, the people of Illinois will have a day to reflect on how the freedom that we celebrate just two weeks later on the 4th of July was delayed to black Americans. Near a rare copy of the Emancipation Proclamation, Governor J.B. Pritzker made Illinois the 47th state to recognize Juneteenth as a state holiday. This historic announcement comes as Evanston is preparing to host a parade this weekend in honor of the day. Cheryl Judice is the co-grand marshal. She owns Heckey's Barbecue, where she sells Juneteenth strawberry soda all year round. It was created by her late husband in honor of his great-grandfather, who was born into slavery. And on the label of this soda bottle is a photo of his great-grandfather, and it says, a sweet sip of freedom. Cheryl says her late husband was a longtime proponent of celebrating Juneteenth, and the color of the soda has a special significance. Now, Juneteenth is primarily celebrated around barbecues and red colored foods. And of course, red uh, indicates the blood that was shed during the Civil War. And in honor of the holiday, all flags will be flown at half staff on Saturday and a Juneteenth flag will fly over the state capitol and Chicago skyline will also light up red.